welcome back to our channel. Today it's just me, me alone. Uh, if you haven't seen my face before, my name is Hilary and together with my husband Matthew, we post uh, videos on this channel, Matt and Hills. We share about our lifestyle, we do vlogs, we share about our adulting struggles, our woes. Um, but today, it's just me. Uh, because I'm going to share with you guys a very special experience that Matt hasn't gotten a chance to go through yet. And as you can see from the title, today I'm going to be sharing about my experience taking the COVID-19 vaccine. Um, and the one that I took was actually the Pfizer, Pfizer BioNTech. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Uh, yeah, but I think, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, yeah, I actually took the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine um, very recently. It's actually only been just a few days after the second dose that I'm filming this and uh, uploading this. So I, I got the chance to take the vaccine because I work in the healthcare industry. I'm actually a medical social worker, but for Matt, he's a He's actually working in the social sector in a community setting, so um, they haven't been offered the vaccine yet. I think he will most likely be getting it down the line when they are actually putting it up for um, public. Uh, for the, I mean, like he has to join the public queue lah, to get the vaccine. But I thought that I would share this experience with you guys because I think a lot of you would be similar to Matt. You guys will be offered the vaccine a few months down the road, and I think there have been a lot of questions and. Uh, concerns about like whether this vaccine is safe, how how do people feel after after getting the vaccine. So I thought I'll just share a little bit of my experience. I can't really answer the medical questions of like whether it's uh, safe, how, how does it work, scientifically speaking, what's the chance of it being effective and what are the chances that you might experience very very serious side effects. I, I can't really explain that because I'm, uh, uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not good at science. <laughs> I think the last time I did science was like when I was 16 and that was that's nine years ago <laughs> but uh, I will link down below some articles and also some um, other youtubers that have shared about the science behind it which I thought was quite helpful so you guys can check those uh, resources out I think they would uh, it would be safer to leave the explanation to them but I thought what I can do is I would share my experience of taking the vaccine and uh, personally for myself what were the side effects that I experienced so that uh, you guys can have a glimpse of like what it's like to take the vaccine and also have that mental prep as to like what to expect if you guys decide to go ahead and take the vaccine. So without further ado I'm just gonna jump right into the video. So um, you will see two parts of the video. Uh, the first part being after my first dose and the second part being after the second dose because as you guys probably already know um, the P Pfizer vaccine actually requires you to take two doses. So so just a disclaimer, 80% of this video is me lying down in bed and talking to you guys. You will see why later. So let's jump right in and I'll take you through my experience. So I took my first dose on 29th of January. That was a Friday. Um, before the dose, I was quite anxious and worried. But I must say that the entire experience was smooth. Nothing happened. I went back to work right after and for the rest of the night, things were just very smooth, uh, normal. And even the next morning when I woke up, I felt totally fine, could go about doing my things as per usual. I heard from some people that it was quite tiring for them, so I was expecting to be uh, quite fatigued. But honestly, I could go about doing my things and I even spent the morning editing videos. I didn't feel like I couldn't really focus much or I didn't feel especially tired. And I think that was something that I was quite grateful for. I think my body didn't really react that much to the first dose. I even managed to go out on that day. I was quite surprised that I had the energy to go out and about because some of my friends did tell me that they felt quite tired. But I must say that as the day went by, I started to feel more and more fatigued. But I also wasn't sure whether that was just my usual self because I usually get tired quite easily. But Matt did point out that I was abnormally tired and at some point in time I really just had to sit down because I couldn't really focus on what was going on around me and yeah I just felt so drained and so dazed so we took a break um, before we met our friends and during dinner I actually felt pretty normal things were fine um, I had my energy back again and the following day, things were really back to normal. I woke up early to meet our friend for breakfast. I went to church and I could focus during the service. I even went to the arcade with my friends after I could play basketball. 
and I must say that um, the first dose was pretty uneventful so um, I think the more challenging one was those two I took those two on 24th of February and actually took the rest of the day off because I heard many bad things from my friends about how tired they felt after the second dose. And just so happened that Matt was also um, on time off that afternoon, managed to spend some time with him, but I just really took the, the rest of the day to rest. In comparing it to those one, I definitely felt more tired as you will see in the upcoming clips. So those two has been okay so far. Not too bad, not too bad. I'm just feeling a bit more lethargic and more headachy. Headachy. <laughs> than the first dose. So, I hope it's okay. I heard that it might get worse, but I'm hoping that my body is going to hold up okay. We are very blessed because we have dinner from the care to play team today they very kindly sent us food to thank us for our video which is something that we are so grateful for and that is so un un unexpected I can't English anymore but okay she's gone man I've been very drowsy drunky yeah. Yeah, I've been a little bit drowsy and like incoherent, but okay. We're gonna have dinner. Excited. <laughs> thank you. If you are watching this, thank you so much. This is the reality of adulthood. You still gotta do the chores, even though you're tired. <laughs> Nobody gonna do it for you. <laughs> so how are you feeling? Tired. Tired? Anything else? Head is heavy. Head heavy? Mm. Yeah. We are back in bed. We are back in bed. I feel like this vlog is very boring because I'm just lying on, lying down in different places. But this is the reality. Yeah. I'm so tired. But I also don't know whether this is just um my baseline. No lah, you're more tired than usual. Yeah, and it's only what time? Nine? Yeah, it's Almost only nine. Yeah. Okay, it's 9.40. And I think... I think I can't take it anymore. I'm so tired. I'm like a lot more tired than usual. So I'm gonna call it a night. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning instead. Let's hope and pray that... Don't get a fever right now i think it's really just the fatigue a little bit of headache in the arm so so and the arm so so arm yeah apart from that apart from that all, all still pretty okay yep i'm gonna gonna go good night good night actually he's not sleeping yet it's just me Good night. So I'm working from home today. Uh, Matt has just left for work. And it's a brand new day, but I'm feeling so crappy. I just feel like my whole body is aching and feels a bit like like before a fever, which I think is quite common because a lot of my colleagues actually mentioned that they feel this way too. So I don't know, I really hope that it doesn't blow up into a fever because that would be quite intense. And yeah, I just don't really want to fall sick because there's still work tomorrow and on Saturday. Yeah, but anyway, it's only 8 o'clock now. There's still some time to go before my work day actually starts. So I'm actually going to take a nap because I feel extremely tired. Even though I've slept for, I think, a good 10 hours. But I still feel that. I still feel like I haven't slept enough. 
So I'm gonna take a short nap before the work day starts and hope that the body ache goes away. So it's about 10.30 now uh, and I'm not feeling great. I feel very cold and just feeling like a lot of body aches. So it does feel like a fever but I checked my temperature, I'm not running a fever. Yeah, and I think it's quite common, again, because a lot of my colleagues also mentioned that they felt very feverish but their temperature was fine, felt a lot of chills. Yeah, so I'm just going to pop in some Panadol to help with the, the side effects. Yeah, and then rest for a bit before continuing with work. I'm hoping that it gets better after I take the Panadol, so we shall see how that goes. It's the end of the work day. I didn't vlog much cause I've just been feeling very crappy. And yeah, I'm back in bed because the body aches are back. Usually it's been back since about four plus. Yeah, it was quite a gradual thing. And I think it's just because the Panadol, I started to wear off. And I'm contemplating taking another Panadol again. But I don't really know cause I'm a bit worried that, that um, if I don't take Panadol before I sleep tonight, then I wouldn't be able to sleep because of the body aches and the chills. Yeah, so I'm trying to spread it out and not take too many. Yeah, so... Trying to hold it. Trying to hold myself together. And Matt is gonna come back home soon. He's buying dinner on the way back. Yeah. Can't wait for him to come home. Feels kind of sad to be sick and alone at home. So it's been about more than 36 hours since I took the vaccine, the second dose of the vaccine. Uh, and today, I'm still not feeling that great, but I think, as you all can tell, uh, it's a lot better than yesterday already. Uh, but the chills and the body ache is still there. So I went to see the doctor this morning to take a day off because uh, I don't think I can get through the work day with like the body aches and the chills. Plus, I'm not very sure whether the fever will come back because I actually took a Panadol last night before I went to sleep and it helped to subside the fever. I mean, oh, uh, I didn't say this, but yeah, I think as you can tell from last night, uh, I started to run a fever. Yeah, so I took a Panadol and the, my sleep wasn't really that great. I kept waking up because I felt very uncomfortable. Yeah, so I'm taking the day off today, uh, trying to rest uh, in hopes that things will get better and that I will be fully restored by the end of today uh, and I have to go back to work tomorrow because I'm on shift for Saturday so I am going to continue vlogging and uh, hopefully give you all good updates by the end of today yep so far I think I think these symptoms, these side effects are quite expected. Lah, so I'm not honestly scared or worried. I'm not that surprised as well. So yeah, let's see how today goes. Pray that all will go well today.
So the video kind of ended quite abruptly there because um, everything went back to normal after that. Uh, the next day I went back to work, which is the day that I'm filming this. And yeah, there were no other side effects. And I mean, just a, a little bit of arm sore, but I think that's pretty normal for a lot of vaccines. But there's no fever, no chills, no fatigue. I'm really just functioning as, as per normal. Lah. So I hope that this video is kind of interesting for you. Uh, lets you take a look into uh, what it would be like uh, if you were to take the vaccine. And I must say that not everyone uh, experiences such side effects. I do have friends that actually took the vaccine and, and they could function normally immediately after all the way. There was no fever, no chills, just a bit of soreness in the injection site, which is very, very normal. Um, and I would say that, that even for myself, experiencing these side effects, it wasn't that bad. Uh, like it, it felt actually less bad than a normal fever that you would go through, like a viral infection. Yeah, so I think it was honestly all in all quite a bearable experience and not as bad as I thought it would be because I heard a lot of stories from media and like social media but I think after experiencing it myself, I would say that it's pretty bearable but of course with that being said, it's important that you guys consult your doctors if you have any concerns, especially if you have pre-existing conditions and you're not very sure whether or not taking the vaccine is a suitable um, choice, whether it's, it's uh, suitable for you then I would really really recommend that you consult your doctors but if not, if you are already um, more or less decided on taking the vaccine then I would say don't worry so much, go for it uh, I think it's uh, quite a one in a lifetime experience to be part of this and I would say that for myself I actually feel very privileged that I got the chance to take the vaccine so early on I feel like it's, it's a very historical moment but I also see it as a way that I can love other people uh, because uh, like I said, there are people with pre-existing conditions that don't allow them to take the vaccine because some uh, some people they have compromised immune systems be it like, uh, maybe because they are going through chemotherapy or they have uh, they have cancer and like um, it does make their immune systems a bit weaker and uh, it might not be as suitable for them to take the vaccine or some people have allergies and they can't take the vaccine because um, they would, they, their allergies would flare up so I think there are a lot of people out there who can't take the vaccine even though they might want to. So I would say that like um, for myself because I don't really have any other health conditions and uh, yeah and I, I mean I'm quite young lah so I think it really was an opportunity for me to, to show love to other people um, and to protect those around me and protect especially those that can't take the vaccine. And I hope this video um, does encourage you if you are thinking, already thinking about going to take the vaccine uh, to not be so worried and also uh, to alleviate some of the fears that you might have with regards to how the experience will be like. And if you have any more like detailed questions that you want to find out about what the experience was like, feel free to drop me a DM on Instagram or leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer questions. But of course, if there are any scientific questions, then like I said, do refer to the resources or talk to your family doctors or if you have any existing conditions and you are seeing a specialist, to talk to them as well. Ask them the questions that you have and I think they will be happy to answer uh, your queries. And with that, I've come to the end of this video. Do give this video a thumbs up if you found it uh, helpful, if you enjoyed it as well. And also subscribe to our channel. We will definitely be uploading more vlogs and talking about like our lives in the videos to come. Uh, and it's not just me alone, I'll be doing it together with my husband. You can check out our other videos as well. And of course, subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more. We will see you in our next video. And in the meanwhile, stay safe and take care. Bye!